What up, YouTube? This is your girl, the Titanfall Princess. And I usually stay away from the beef shit because, to be honest, I don't have the fucking time for it, but apparently many people do. A lot of people would like to see me go back and forth with Black Bond like the old Titanfall Princess. A lot of people would like me to be in a console war and make videos that's not that they're not going to make themselves. And that's the problem with YouTube. Hell, the gaming community as a whole. They want beef. They want entertainment. And they don't want the truth because it's painfully obvious most of y'all can't handle it. But tonight, I'm going to take a different stance and talk about some shit that went on. There's been shit. There's been a shit ton of fucking lies spread. Okay, so tonight's subject is Xbox Strong, aka 50 sock counts. Okay. Some people wanted to know the whole deal about BGST and Xbox Station. Some motherfucker was responsible for telling people all types of shit, then acting like me and him are cool enough to the point that when you're telling me something, I ain't gonna expose that ass. Come on now. So, I have no clue who Xbox Strong is, but it's obvious, obviously his ass ain't playing any fucking games. And it's crazy how this Xbox community sees a sock account with an Xbox One on it and immediately thinks, oh, he's Xbox, he's pro Xbox. Right. You guys need to get your shit together, honestly. Now, on to the point of this bit. So I was told by Xbox Strong a lot of shit. Shit like Iron Wolf, Wrath, Zaire, Too Much Food, Mooch, any other boys had a little bash fest going on on Xbox Live. Matter of fact, he told my, me Zaire, aka Next Gen 720, wanted Wrath to make a B video about me. Meanwhile, at the time, I'm being spammed with the usual bullshit. You know. Fuck Titanfall Princess. Titanfall Princess is going on Weapon Wheels podcast. Yeah, okay. And the Black Bond said, uh, you defended Titanfall Princess and now she's my bitch. Or our bitch. Come on with this bullshit now. Excuse me, I need to take a drink of water. Now, the first thing I'll say about the Black part, part about Black Bond part is, if Black Bond ever wants to tell somebody anything, he tells them and makes sure you all know it was him. He's always telling he always will. He ain't sticking up for the man, but he, that's, just, that's just his, his style. I wouldn't be talking about this right now if I didn't see something that needed to let me know Xbox Strong has been trolling me for months. This dumb ass fucked up his own screenshot, signing into his other sock account, forgetting to edit it, editing it, and then then sent me a tweet from his sock account. Like I wouldn't know what it was. <laughs> Come on, that's some funny ass shit. It's funny, it's so funny to me. <laughs> I swear, this guy's stupid. He really is. Now, this guy has been up Wrath 93's ass for months. He's been up my ass for months, talking all this shit, but then he plays the victim. There's a lot of dick sucking going on out there, and it sure the fuck ain't by me, okay? Now, to be honest, I don't know what Xbox Strong, aka Mr. Walter H. White, aka 50 Sock Accounts heard, and I really don't care. But I expect people to be upfront with me if they have a problem with me. Don't hide. You never see me hide. Anything I've ever said is something I told somebody. I told him straight out. I had a problem with Black Bond at one point. I told him. Me and Hard Eight had words. Hell, me and the boys had had words one time or another. I don't hide. I speak my fucking mind. And that's just some shit. The wonderful world of YouTube don't understand. When I put out the Quantum Break review, I was being honest, but I expected some bullshit. Some fake ass subs on sub, some dislikes, and all that shit. I really don't care. Truth to truth. When I went back and forth with Black Bond, I spoke my mind. 
I ain't seen no sympathy cards being given to me when Bond went back at me, when all these people made videos about me. And I mean all these people. Because there's a lot of videos about me out there. And y'all know it. Motherfuckers have gotten views off of me, subs off of me, have spammed my channel with all types of bullshit. I don't think motherfuckers actually care about respect or care when you have. Excuse me, I take a drink. My throat is dry. I don't want to do rants like this, and you guys know that. Or care when you have in it to do what you do. Six months into YouTube game, I realized the bullshit is played out like this. Say what we want to hear, and you'll go places. But speak your mind, and it takes longer. It literally takes time to invest. You guys say, like, uh, uh, excuse me. Um, oh my god, my throat is so dry. Because I'm on a rant, and I usually don't rant. You say guys like um, uh, like Jimmy B Gaming, Poppy 2K, uh, uh, Windy City Gaming, talking that real shit. You see it. And you notice their views, though. You notice anyone that talks real shit on YouTube, land, cannot talk real shit without putting the time into their craft. Without not, without not getting what's due to them. Without hate and corny shit. And it is. All this shit is fucking corny. Come on. 2016, people. Grow the fuck up. Now I have screen caps and all the good shit to back up what I say. But I'm getting sick of this one motherfucker spread rumors. Like I showed uh, crack gaming Zaire pics of my ass. To be on the fucking podcast. No fucking way. What happened was. Crap hit me up one day. He asked me to be on Xbox Nation. I went on Xbox Nation. My mic was bad for the first episode I appeared on. He hit me up again and told me. We'll try it again next week. He wanted to hear my take on gaming. And I can confirm this. Just like there's been fucking rumors. About me allegedly getting too much food. Kicked off the podcast. Nope, I can confirm this too. You know, it's one thing if you're if you're not fucking with me like that. You don't fuck with me, I don't fuck with you. But keep it gaming. Quit the lies, quit the bullshit, and grow the fuck up. More than half of these motherfuckers talk shit because they're not playing games. They're not getting out. Mommy's basement, mommy's attic, who knows, whatever. Mommy's garage, maybe even. They just want to be amused. And that's all that I have to say about any of this for now. Unless we want to talk this shit out other places. Or take the shit somewhere else. We can do that. And trust me, there's plenty of shit I can show about Xbox Strong. And others, for that matter. Anyway, this is just something we can all think on. When you, in the YouTube game, keep a small circle around you. A guy in my circle for life is Poppy 2K. He supported me from day one. He has continued to support me throughout the bullshit, okay? No shady shit, no side shit, or corny shit. And there's a few others there, but for the most part, most motherfuckers have lost their shit. Wanted to insert some drama into gaming. And we're not here for that. We're here to fucking play games. Do fucking reviews on the games. Support each other's fucking channels. And do it on our own. I don't care about none of, the, none of these scumbag shit going on. I don't care about the scumbags or their shit at all. So right now, this is Titan. I hope you like the. Re I, hope, I hope you like my rant. This is the Titanfall Princess. I'm signing out. Like, favorite, and comment, subscribe. And for all you guys, you know you love me. Later.